So in part one of this video, I was talking about how I said I think there's something to do with like the Catholic Church versus the Church of England with uh, Queen Elizabeth and whatnot. Um, but I don't really think that's the case. I think I don't really understand the whole point, but they're both coded to these teams here. So like I said before, Pope Francis adds up to 59, just like Kansas City Royals. Pope Francis even adds up to 122. Kansas City even adds up to 122, but uh, it's the 111th World Series. The Royals wear Royal Blue, Royals, Queen Elizabeth, whatever. Royal Blue adds up to 111. Queen Elizabeth was born on 421, April 21st, which is the 111th day of the year. Queen Elizabeth was even 59 years old the last time that the Royals won the World Series in 1985. Even the game last night was five hours and nine minutes long. And I also never pointed out that Queen Elizabeth II adds up to 168, just like New York Mets, 168. New York adds up to 111, the 111th World Series. Uh, the first play of the game, or the first time the Royals bat, it was the first pitch in the first inning that gave them the, the one run from the end of the park home run. The top of the first, Volquez threw 11 pitches in the first inning. I also made a video a while back about Kanye West, and Kanye West sung the Queen song at Glastonbury the day after gay marriage was legalized, and uh, it all stemmed back to Taylor, the Taylor Swift thing at the, the VMAs, Taylor Swift, Beyonce Knowles. I know this is all connected. I just haven't figured out exactly how they're doing it. But I mean, I had like two or three part videos to this. I'm assuming it all goes with this at some point, somehow. He even said, Mama, I just killed a man, put a gun up to his head, pulled the trigger, now he's dead. I talked about how they're going to assassinate Obama and whatnot. So just wanted to repoint that out. So I originally was thinking Queen Elizabeth went with the New York Mets, and then Pope Francis, since he had up to the same as Kansas City, went with Kansas City, and it was like a battle, like Catholic versus Church of England, whatever. But since Queen Elizabeth is connected to both of them, it makes me wonder. Also, last night when the power went out, it went out at 9.19, and then it came back on at 9.23. So Pope Francis was at the White House at 9.23 a.m. this year on 9.23 also, 919 is the 262nd day. Queen Elizabeth became queen on 2-6, 1952. Uh, she later turned 26 that year. She was coronated on 6-2, 62 years ago. Tons of other 62 connections to Queen Elizabeth. So I thought that was interesting. It was 62s and then the 923 for the time. I also had talked about at the Kansas City game this year on 6-6, a guy dressed as the Pope caught the home run ball of Salvador Perez. So I said, I think, you know, it ties into the Pope. I think Kansas City is going to win the World Series because the Pope was a big topic this year or whatever, all about 923 and whatnot. But interesting, too, I never realized 6-6 six, six of 2015, 1 plus 5 is 6. So literally it was 6-6-6 six, six, six even when he caught that home run ball. And the reason this stuck out to me was because Pope Francis actually caught a ball at the Vatican on September 24th, 2014, which also would have been September 23rd, 2014 in the United States. So, interesting that Pope Francis caught this baseball. It was at St. Peter's Square. Let's look at St. Peter's Square in Gematria. It also adds up to 59. I also talked about how the World Series, I think, is going to end on Game 6 here, 11-3. been seeing the 1-1-3 a lot. Michael Jordan adds up to 113. I talked about the Space Jam connection. Uh, this is also Gregorian to Julian, or on the Gregorian calendar, this is the same as Julian 1021, the Back to the Future Day in 2015. But if you go from July 4th, then, to this day... It's 122 days, or 3 months, 30 days. 3.30, March 30th, is also the 89th day of the year, so it ties into Queen Elizabeth once again. 
Queen Elizabeth became queen 74 days before her 26th birthday. 20, 74 days after her birthday is 74. Um, remember when the power or the the truck lost the power when they came back? It was on the 47 pitches. It was in the fourth inning. Fourth inning adds up to 74. The mirror of 47. Where are these here? They talked about truck went out as 41. Delay 47. Or truck went out 47. Also, the curse of Rob Lowe and Fred Savage is 122 as well. So anyway, I'm still trying to piece all of that together. Um, definitely connected. I want to show some more clips of this game because it was absolutely ridiculous. Um, before the fourth inning, so the last out of the third inning here, they even show you two guys dressed up as Batman. They got the two guys dressed up as Batman, and that's because the Mets pitcher, number 33, Matt Harvey, uh, his nickname is the Dark Knight or whatever. But interesting, they show these guys, and then the next inning, the power goes out. This guy even has a four on his jersey. I don't know if that's a 44 or something else, but interesting, a number four, the only one that you can see. But the reason that I showed that was because later on when they're – talking about the power going out or whatever or the the game being whatever it's it's basically a blackout is what it is to the people watching it on tv it was a blackout and they joke about it the dark night and whatever and they're like haha it really was a dark night blah 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 and then it was like right after they showed the batman stuff so just wanted to point that out so not only did the power go out in the fourth inning it went out for like a few seconds also in the fifth inning but just check this out Number 55 is batting, and he hits the ball on the 55th pitch in the fifth inning. Let's check it out. So that was the 54th pitch. Hits it on the 55th pitch. Gets thrown out at first, number 55, in the fifth inning. And then the power goes out. Come on now. And the reason that 55 is so significant is because I've been talking about 55 and 60 and how they're mirrors. I've seen 60 a whole bunch. Flip Saunders just died at the age of 60. Moses Malone died at the age of 60. Daryl Dawkins adds up to 60. He just recently died. Uh, Daryl Dawkins was the first NBA player to come out of high school and play in the NBA. Moses Malone was the first ABA player to come out of high school and play in the NBA. And Flip Saunders even began coaching on the 21st game of number 21, Kevin Garnett's rookie season. And he was a teen wolf, and he came directly out of high school. And uh, Abraham Lincoln adds up to 60, just like Lincoln, Nebraska. It all ties in to the mirror or the foreshadowing of the assassination of Obama. And the reason I brought that up, also 1955 was 60 years ago, 1960, 55 years ago, so they're mirrored years. Back to the Future, he goes back to 1955, November 5th to November 12th. But on this, five pitches after that power went out again, on the 60th pitch, this guy hits a home run. Fifty-ninth pitch, so this is the 60th pitch. And it wouldn't be that even a big of a deal if I haven't been talking about it for like a month. So then later, in the sixth inning, Matt Harvey's 66th pitch was the first pitch of the sixth inning. And this guy hits a double, I think it's Zobrist. And I didn't get it over here for some reason. 
but it was his 66th pitch in the sixth inning, and it was the first pitch for him in the sixth inning. And then literally the next batter up is number six, Kane. Think about it. Kane, 666. I mean, give me a break. But he also is the third batter in the lineup. Uh, third batter. He Mustakas hits a base hit later on in this inning, and Kane scores the third run to make the score 3-3. Three to three. Matt Harvey is even number 33, and after this inning, when the score was 3-3, three to three, he came out of the game. Interesting, too, to point out in Gematria, Game 1 even adds up to 33. And I didn't get a clip of it, but uh, when it was still what the score was 3-3 three to three and Herrera was pitching, um, I think he struck out one guy or they got a guy out at first. I can't remember for sure what it was, but the score was 3-3, three to three and then they're like, don't forget, the game is sponsored by the number 33, the film or whatever. And they showed a little advertisement for this movie, the 33. Interesting, too, Matt Harvey adds up to 133. I've talked about this number a ton of times with the Pope and the Mark of the Beast or whatever. Pope Francis became the Pope on uh, March 13th, which in England would be written as 13-3. Here it would be 313. Um, 603 score and 6 adds up to 313. Also adds up to 133. Also, in the ninth inning, this guy was the closer, and then Gordon, number four, hit the home run to make the game four to four. Uh, but literally, his name in Gematria adds up to 59 as well. And he came into this game, they showed a little stat and said that he has pitched nine and two thirds inning. And just to point it out here, it was nine and two thirds innings in the postseason this season up until the Kansas City. Uh, the Kansas City game. Also, I wrote 923. It's actually 9 and 2 thirds. But. There was a lot of 52 coding in this game as well. So Alex Gordon is basically the reason they came back and won. And Alex Gordon adds up to 52. The date numerology was 10 plus 27 plus 15, which adds up to 52. The inside the park home run should have even been caught by the center fielder, who was number 52. Another Queen Elizabeth thing, she was she became queen in the year 52 even. Also, we've talked about the Philadelphia train wreck a whole bunch. The Philadelphia train wreck that happened at 923, going 106 miles an hour with 601 on it. 923 and 10-6, October 6th, are the same day Gregorian to Julian. Tons of stuff, it all ties into Obama. Pope Francis went to Philadelphia this year. Uh, Philadelphia is in the book of Revelation. But anyway, if you go from the Philadelphia train wreck to the day of this game, it's a span of 168 days. So you would you would have thought that the Mets were going to win it. I would have, by looking at some of this stuff, but they didn't. Just like how the Cubs were super coded and they didn't win it. So hmm, just makes you wonder what exactly the point of all the coding is sometimes. Maybe the whole point is to make them, is because they're going to lose, but... Also interesting because all the 59 stuff dealing with Kansas City, Kansas City adds, adds up to 59. But in Jewish Gematria, Kill even adds up to 59. So you would have thought, you would think they would lose. But I'm going to leave it at that. We'll see what tonight's game has in store for us. I'm sure it's another super rigged game. Even the Gematria, or the date numerology of today adds up to 53 then. And remember last night... The game was won on the sacrifice fly by Hosmer, number 35, and Alcides, Alcides Escobar. Not only did he get the in-the-park home run to get the first run when Hosmer hit number 35, hit the sack fly, this guy scored the final run of the game in the 14th inning. His name even adds up to 53. Also, the last thing I want to say about this is that the, the final score was 4-5 to five or 5-4. Five to four. I've talked about this tons of times. Cubs equals 45, Miami 45. The curse of the Billy Goat happened in 1945. The guy who cursed the Cubs died on October 22nd this year, 45 years ago. Wrigley is 45. Obama and Michael J. Fox both turned 54 this year. But yeah, I'm going to try to get these games DVR'd. I also want to watch the Lakers-Timberwolves game. I'm sure that's going to be a serious joke as well, so...
whatever, have a great day.